Good morning, welcome to BBC Two and CBBC with Adrian. Hello, good morning and welcome to Wednesday's CBBC Breakfast Show. We're here until 9 o'clock and all of this is on the way. Anthony Ant is entering the great race at 20 past 7. Then at 7.35, more adventures with the Smurfs. We've also got Against All Odds and those chipmunks are off to the movies. Then William will be here with his Red Wish Wellingtons. As well as that, Matt Baker will be popping in a little bit later on. Now, I'm not going to hit him. He's all about cricket today and we're going to put him to the test a little bit later on. But we start off with Play Days. Cheerful? I'm not. I'm fed up. Oh, what are you fed up with? But I'm just, you know, fed up. What are you fed up with, Poppy? She doesn't know, David. She's just fed up. No. Well, is there something you'd like to do? Don't know. Yes, if there is something. I'd like to be a newsreader. <laughs> a a newsreader? News yes, you know, I read the news on the television. Like this. Music! Hello, and here is the news. Today, it's today. No! I can't think of any news. <laughs> but if I could, I'd be very good. And the news is full of exciting people. <laughs> but there's exciting people here, Poppy. Where? That's right, Peggy, in the stories. You. Still, if you're fed up, you won't want to hear the story that I've got for you. But, but I'm not that fed up, David. <laughs> All right, then. This one's about an old woman who was fed up. Mind you, she did live in a vinegar bottle. Oh, a vinegar bottle? I'd be fed up if I lived in a vinegar bottle. Mm. She must have been really small. Or perhaps the vinegar bottle was very big. Oh, well, I can tell you this. Whichever it was, she wasn't very happy. Oh dear, oh dear. What a terrible thing it is to live in a vinegar bottle. Now it happened that a fairy was passing by just as the old woman spoke. No, that's lucky. Mm. She's right, thought the fairy. I wouldn't like to live in a vinegar bottle. No. How nice it would be to live in a little cottage and have roses around the door. <laughs> then that is what you shall have. The fairy said. Oh. 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 <laughs> and the fairy flew away, north, south, east and west, doing her work. But the next time the fairy was passing, she thought she would see how the old woman was doing. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. How lonely I am. Oh, it, it's very nice to live here in this cottage, but out here in the country I never see anybody. How nice it would be to live in a small house in the town and have lots of friends and neighbours to talk to. <laughs> then that is what you shall have, the fairy said. Oh. <laughs> and the fairy flew away, mm. north, no, south, south, east, east and, and west, west. Mm. doing her work. Mm. Until one day she remembered the old woman and she wondered how she was getting on in her little house in the town. Oh dear, oh dear. How small my house is. Oh, oh, it's very nice to live in the town and have all these friends to talk to, but I can hardly move. How nice it would be to live in, in a large house with lots and lots of room. <laughs> then that is what you shall have, the fairy said. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and the fairy flew away. North, north south, south, east, east and, and west, west, doing her work. Mm -hmm. Then one day the fairy wondered if the old woman was enjoying her big house. Mm. I think she was. Mm. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear. 
how hard I have to work. Oh, it's all very well living in this large house with so many rooms, but I, I have to clean it all myself. <laughs> how nice it would be to live in a, in a large mansion house and have lots and lots of servants. Hmm. Hmm. Then that is what you shall have, the fairy said. <laughs> and the fairy flew away. North, north south, 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 east, east, east and, and west. 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 Doing her work. Then one day, she went to see if the old woman was enjoying her big mansion house. Oh dear, oh dear. How fed up I am. Oh, it's all very well living in this large mansion house with all of these servants, but I have nothing to do. How nice it would be to, to live in a palace and be the queen. Yes, where my servants could look after the palace and I, I could look after the land. Hmm. <laughs> the fairy thought to herself, this woman will never be happy. No, that's right. Yes, the more I give her, mm -hmm. the more she wants. Mm -hmm. This is what you shall have. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, oh my vinegar bottle. Oh. And that was the story of the old woman who lived in a vinegar bottle. Mm. She was never satisfied. I wouldn't be happy either living in a little vinegar bottle, but all those other houses the fairy gave her were really very nice. That's right, yeah. I think she was too busy wanting a different house to see just how nice the houses she had were. Mm. Did you enjoy the story, Poppy? I did, yes. But I'd still like to read the news on the television. Oh, there, Poppy. Did that story cheer you up? A bit. A bit? Well, how much is a bit? It's a bit sort of like uh, that. No, don't tell me. I've got a good way of finding out. With a song. Oh. No. How's it go? Like this. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, Nod your head this time. Oh, well, right. Like that. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. This time, stamp your feet. Okay. Oh. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. I wonder if you can do all three together this time. Yeah. Okay. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Yeah. Oh, that was happy. Happy. <laughs> I was thinking. <clears throat> I'd like to meet a fairy and have a magic wish. Well, would you wish you could read the news? I would. Oh, but Poppy, remember, magic wishes don't always turn out as you expect them to. Um. How do you mean? Well, you'll see in the next story. Oh, the next story? Uh, what's it called? It's called The Three Magic Washes. Washes? Um, don't you mean wishes? No, I mean washes. Oh. And we need the two of you to be in the story, That's don't right. we? Oh, yeah. oh, good. I can't wait. Yes, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the news. The next story is called The Three Magic Wishes. <laughs> Washes. Oh, hello. <laughs> Uh, my name is William Washer, and this, this is Bertha. Say hello, Bertha. <laughs> this here is a laundrette, and it's where I work. So if you have any clothes that need a clean, bring them to me, and I will wash them for you. Only please, don't bring them today. I don't think poor old Bertha can keep up with all the work. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bertha. I didn't mean to upset you. It's, uh, it's just that we get a lot of customers. <laughs> See what I mean? Hello, William. Hello, Bertha. Hello, Peggy. <laughs> ah, you brought me some washing. Yes, you see, I've wanted to stay at a friend's house tonight, and I haven't got any clean clothes to take with me. Mm. Could you wash these for me? I do need them for this afternoon, though. 
No problem. Oh, thanks, Bertha. I'll see you this afternoon, William. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bertha, what did you set up for? You're almost full as it is. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. <laughs> they are pretty small, aren't they? <laughs> right, let's get you started. Oh, dear. Another customer. William! Now, thank goodness you're here. Hello, Bertha. <laughs> Now, you've got to help me, you see. I've been off to a friend's house to stay the night, and I need to pack my favourite night tea. Hmm. But it needs a wash. Could you do it for me? I need it this afternoon. Well, I'm afraid, Poppy, we can't. No, thanks, Bertha. I knew I could rely on you. I'll see you this afternoon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bertha, you're just about full up as it is. You really can't take any more washing. It's just a night tea. Oh, yes, yes, I suppose you're right. <laughs> OK, let's get you started before the bell rings again. Oh, no. William, thank goodness you're here. I know. You're off to a friend's house for the night. You need no, to no, get... No, 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 I've got Poppy and Peggy coming to stay with me. So I thought I'd get my sheets washed so they've got nice clean beds to sleep in. Can you do them for this afternoon? <coughs> Splendid. Thanks, Bertha. I'll be back this afternoon, then. Bye. Bye. Bertha, now I'm really cross. I mean, how can you watch all of these? <coughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'll put them in. But don't blame me if you blow a fuse. <laughs> The dirty washing in the washing machine Then add the soap powder to make the coat bright and clean Press this button here and that button there And Bertha goes around and round Scrub-a-dub, scrub-a-dub Scrub-a-scrub-a-scrub-a-dub Rub-a-dub, rub-a-dub Rub-a-dub and rub-a-dub Gurgle, gurgle, splash That's how the clothes get washed that's how the clothes get washed. Then she rinses all the soap and the bubbles away and spins them very quickly until they are dry. Press this button here and that button there. And Bertha goes around and round. Scrub a dub, scrub a dub. Scrub a dub, scrub a dub. Dear, I don't like the sound of that. I hope Bertha doesn't break down. If she does, all the customers will be cross with me because they won't have any clothes to wear. Still, I can sit down here for a few minutes while she gets on with it. <sighs> what I need is a, a new washing machine. A bigger, better, younger washing machine. <sighs> One that could do all the work. Oh. oh dear, I must have dropped off. I must be working too hard. Uh, I'd better see how Bertha's getting on with all that washing. You're not Bertha. Oh, look how new and sparkly you are. You are what? She's my command. Who are you? I am the genie of the washing machine. The what? <laughs> my name's Jean. I'm the genie. I lives in the washing machine. See, by rubbing the outside, you have called me, and now I can give you a magic wash. Oh, oh I think you mean a magic wish. No, 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 a wash. Look, come here. If you move this switch here to boil wash, then you can wish for anything that you want. Oh, how marvellous. A magic wish. Oh, sorry. Wash. Anything I want. Mm -hmm. Now, you be careful with your washes. I can only give you three. Oh, three. All right, uh, let's see. Um, yes, I know. It's very nice working here, but it, it does get very busy and I get very tired. Uh, what I wish is that I could do nothing all morning. Not even lift a finger. Right you are. 
You are wash is my command. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. <laughs> ah. That's odd. I can't move. I can't do anything. I can't even lift a finger. Gary William, I've got some washing for you. Oh, that's odd. He's not here. Must have slipped out. Hmm. Well, um, I'll just put it down here. William, I've got some laundry for you. Oh, that's funny. He's not around. Oh, well, I can't wait. I'll just put it down here. William, I've got lots of washing for you. Oh, that's funny. I wonder where he's got to. Oh, well. I'll just leave it here. Oh dear. I wish to do nothing all morning. And that's what I've done. Nothing. And just look at all this washing. It wasn't what I meant. I thought the washing would get done without me. Oh dear. If I don't get this lot washed soon, I'll be in trouble with all my customers. But there's a whole day of work here, and I've only got the afternoon left. I know, the genie will help. Yeah, if I can just rub my head on this washing machine. Ah. You will wash is my command. Now then, William, this is your second wish. What's it to be? Uh, I have to get all this washing done this afternoon, but there's a whole day's worth here. Uh, so what I wish is that I can do all my work twice as fast. Say no more. You are wash is my command. I did it. All my work twice as fast, but I didn't quite mean it like that. I thought the washing machine would do it all. Not me. I'm exhausted. I don't think I like that washing machine at all. It's not like Bertha. I mean, Bertha may have been a bit old and rackety, but she always got the washing done on time and she didn't cause a fuss and blow bubbles all the time. You are wash is my command. Now then, William. It is your last wash. So what's it to be? Well, uh, I don't think I want one, thank you very much. The last two didn't do me any good at all. Uh, well, I think I want Bertha back. Yes, that's my last wish. Whatever you want. You are wash. It's my command, William. 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 Ah, William. William, wake up. We've come for our washing. What? Oh no, I've been asleep. You're washing, uh, but you didn't want it until this afternoon. But it is this afternoon, no, William. Oh, I'm afraid it'll still be inside Bertha. I haven't taken it out to dry yet. Uh, I'm afraid it's not ready. What was that, Bertha? It's oh. where? <laughs> ah, here it is, all folded neatly in a pile. There we are. See, I knew you wouldn't let us down. <laughs> Thanks. See you both. Bye. 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 Well, how did that lot get there? Do you know something? I was wrong about you, Bertha. You may be a bit old and rackety, but I wouldn't swap you for anything. <laughs> Hello, here is the news. The old woman is back in her vinegar bottle. Mm. And Bertha has finally finished her wash. No. That means the time's come for us to pack away the play tent. But we'll see you again soon with some more stories. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.